Do you think they have a, a big play in as far as controlling uh, the media, the courts, and the, the lower levels right below the capstone? The Freemasons would be the, the main players uh, doing that, do you think? Exactly. They're the, they're the foot soldiers. They do all the dirty work. Um, but like uh, above top secret dot com is absolutely controlled by Freemasons. Um, the majority of moderators there are admitted Masons, and they're super critical and censor anything that's uh, critical of Masonry. Uh, and that that was uh, what I got kicked off for. Um, my my final thread on above top secret was a thread exposing the um, MM, the the double M letter symbology that masons love to use um, you'll notice that the, the the letter m for masonry or, or mm for master mason is used over and over again and i, I was just uh posting all the research i've done in that and i've been posting there for over a year now they, they, they let me post my my free book and everything that wasn't uh an issue until the when, when i posted this thread suddenly all at once they gave me like they're supposed to give you several warnings or something before they ban you so all at once they gave me all my warnings and my banishment and just came up with all these old threads that hadn't even been active for you know several months and said oh well this this violated some something that it didn't violate <laughs> uh, <laughs> whatever and then uh, they kicked me off and it's clear that it was uh, because of what what I was exposing, they were censoring pretty much. They they censored the first few posts in it, the the, the opening uh, posts, um, for no reason whatsoever. And it was a admitted Mason moderator that did it. And being on there, I was on that website for hours and hours every day for a year or two, and I I got to know the work schedule of the Masons there. They, they were, <laughs> there there were literally uh, two to three Mason moderators online for eight hours a day and then someone else would come on for another eight hours and someone else for another eight hours so 24 hours a day they have mason moderation going on there so that's another honeypot where they um you know everyone finds that right away you type in any conspiracy subject and that's the biggest conspiracy forum on the internet so you're going to get sucked into that thinking it's genuine and it's going to take a, a lot of your time and energy uh, before you figure out like hundreds and hundreds of people have commented on my website again can uh, go to a Dantian conspiracy, click on uh, above top secret, and you'll see I've got almost 500 comments from ex above top secret people who've been kicked off of there uh, for the same thing. You just, you know, there's, like I said, with controlled opposition, there's a certain realm of information that you're allowed to talk about, and you can you can say whatever you want about fluoride in the water and um, you know certain things, uh, but what, if you touch on certain subjects. Um, you're not going to get too far, you know. Certain subjects uh, about, say, masonry, about Zionism, about the Jesuits, um, uh, about uh, Judaism. The, the certain, uh, oh, about the Holocaust, about the moon landing. There's certain subjects like this um, that are just really touchy, and they don't want anyone getting on to them. And they'll just they'll censor and ban you, and they won't give you any reason for it. And it'll be up to you to figure out why. And when it happens over and over again from these controlled forums, you start to see the thread. You start to see how, oh, okay, on the in the official uh, alternative media, the, you know, the <laughs> I consider myself the alternative alternative media. <laughs> there's, the, there's like the main the mainstream alternative media, which is the David Icke, Alex Jones, above top secret. There's an, there's a, a new accepted norm of conspiracy where you you can talk about you know 9/11 being an inside job, but you can't talk about it possibly happening because of directed energy weapons or being uh, a Zionist operation. You can talk about um, Zionism a little bit, but you can't talk about Judaism in general or, you know, different things like this. They'll, they'll have, or you can, you can, um, you can talk about the moon landing in passing. You can, you can ask why there's no stars in the background and why the flag's waving, but don't, don't go any further than that. You know, I mean, the, there's an accepted realm of truth, and then there's no no land, and anybody who dares tread quickly finds out uh, that there is an alternative alternative media out there of people who've been kicked out of the alternative media, <laughs> and they're now trying <laughs> trying to uh, to uh, scream from the fringes. 
Yeah, it's either they they just went back to silence in their day jobs and are sitting yeah. in silence, or, or they're like us with our blogs and podcasts, right, making no money and <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, no, I like that that term, the alternative alternative, the AA. So I, I think <laughs> we can start our our start our own movement. I think it's about everybody on my Skype list. There's about thirty. You're thirty. Oh, you're my thirty third podcast. So, <laughs> and it, what's what's funny is that all the people in my Skype list are just people such as yourself because I never used it before. I never had a need until doing these podcasts where we do them around the world and everybody's in different time zones and you know, the recording these conversations is a lot easier via Skype. But uh, it's great. I'm have this power list, so I think I have the AA already built, brother. So <laughs> yeah, we got to make the twelve steps, and we'll recover everybody. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> the unsecret secret society, right? <laughs> there will be no bake sales or handshakes. <laughs> so, what do you think the end goal plan of is of this global elite? What did they have planned for us? Well. I mean, a psychopath's MO is always power and control. They, they have no real control or balance in their inner life, so they strive to control and balance things outside of themselves by manipulating people and uh, using their their influence to, to make the outside world fit their twisted inside world. So uh, it's it's the same thing it's always been, to, to have more power, more control, um, to the point that, I mean, what they would love, I'm sure, the, would be a robot-like race of humans who unquestioningly go about doing their every will. That, that would be the, their ultimate fantasy, would be to have complete you know, world government, uh, complete economic control, brainwashing to the point that we don't question anything. There's no critical thought or independent thinking. It's just complete groupthink dictated by the social engineers, the culture creators who decide how and what we're supposed to think. Uh, if they say jump, we enthusiastically ask how high. Um, that's 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 the end goal. They'll never get there, but that's that's the end goal because that's just how psychopaths are. That's what their inner world is like. They, they don't have real relationships with anybody. All relationships are a means to an end, and their end is for them to do what they want them to do. Uh, they, they just use people as a pawns um, for sex, money, um, whatever it is that they, that they want. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that's that's the end goal. It's not. It's nothing... You know, <laughs> no, it's, it's not it's, that ro it's not that romantic. <laughs> no, it, it's it's really to me it's it's simple that you know we've been governed for thousands of years. If you're not, we're not in a nomadic tribe or living in the Amazon jungle. You are most likely governed by some type of king or pharaoh or so forth. And governing the people has always been a problem. So getting it down to a science. I would think would be the ultimate uh, goal of this elite, which I believe we're in those times now. And you see this science spreading around the world to countries such as the one you're living in now in Thailand and, and everywhere where they will implement this science because it is a science uh, wherever they have control. And if they don't have control, you better believe they're going to go in there and get it. Uh, sooner or later, so I I definitely believe it's a it's a simple plan, and I I agree it is to to manage a bunch of passive slaves, and I I also believe that that gets boring, so they got to mix it up a little bit, you know whether that be some revolutions, wars, and conspiracies that they add in there, and if you research this over the last few thousand years, there's always shifts in power, and the game is sometimes changed, so I have a little bit of hope that. You know, there is hope for us AAs out there that <laughs> we may have our day, you know, whether that will be in this life or a future life. But first of all, uh, let's talk about what happened at ATS. What do you know about it? Okay, I know you've been, you've been banned. Uh, that's right. the extent of it. And we don't actually know why. Um, we, what we know about it is that or what we, we think we know is that it's a CIA front and managed by the CIA. So if you've been banned, uh, it might be that you're getting too hot. That's what I think. And when I first joined ATS maybe three years ago, I thought, you know what? This is just 
a collection point for what people think is going on so that they know what the general public thinks is going on. And they have a bunch of debunkers there that are, you know, paid to go in there and somebody talks about something, they say, oh, no, 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 here's what's really going on. You right. know? So they generally, just, to generally um, influence public